Hi, I'm Phyllis, southernfrugal.com. Well, the other day we had some strawberries and uh, I made some uh, whipped cream to go on them. Some homemade whipped cream using the heavy whipping cream. And I made way too much, so I didn't want to, uh, you know, just throw it out. I mean, we weren't going to eat it right then. So I thought, well, I'm just going to put it in the freezer. So I put it in a little glass bowl, put it in the freezer, forgot about it. So then the next day I went to get ice out for tea and I said, oh, well, there's the bowl. Behold, I had ice cream, y'all. It was just as smooth and creamy as it could be. Now, I don't put any, uh, there, there's only three ingredients, whipping cream, confectionery sugar, and vanilla. That's it, and it does make ice cream. And I looked on the internet to see if anybody else had made it that way. And I did see a lot of them where they put the uh, Eagle brand condensed milk in it. I don't care for that because I think it kind of takes away from the taste of the whipping cream a little bit. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to make it the same way and we're going to freeze it. Now this time I'm going to put it in a little plastic container. And I'm just going to make two cups because that's all I made before because I'm not sure if my mixer can handle four cups, although that's what I would like to make. So the ingredients are going to be really, really simple, just three. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. Again, the heavy whipping cream, you can get it at Walmart and almost every grocery store. Now I'm going to move you all a little bit closer. But let me measure out my sugar. I'm just going to use regular confectionery sugar and I'm only going to use a half a cup. Now I'll have to tell you that we ate it uh, on a piece of warm chocolate cake. It was delicious and uh, I liked the lightness of it. And I liked it much better. I'm trying to find my scissors and I can't find them so I'm going to use a knife to finish opening my bag. Um, anyway, uh, it, it tastes lighter to me than regular ice cream does, and I know what's in it. That's the big thing. So, my bowl has been in the freezer, and my beaters have been in the freezer also. So I'm going to dump, well let me move y'all closer so you can see a little bit better. Now you can also uh, make this and you don't have to have a KitchenAid appliance to make this. You can make it with a regular hand mixer. Let me move y'all a little closer. Move y'all. There you go. Okay, so we're going to first dump the cream in. In other words, that's two cups of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. And I used one half cup of confectionery sugar. And I just put it all in at the same time because remember I was making whipped cream and I want one teaspoon of just pure vanilla extract. And I do measure it right over the thing and if it runs over that's all the better. And it ran over a little bit. Alright. So I'm going to start it off on low. I've lost my dish rag. Hold on. Yeah, let me just share with you the other thing I did was because I got the extra uh, towels, I just cut them in half and hemmed around the edges so I'd make myself even more dish rags. I already had four, but we change it, the dish rag, every day. So, I wanted seven. All right, so we're ready to turn this on now. Just going to start it off on low. And of course, in the kitchen, made it, it just takes a very short period of time. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I had it on low just until that um, confectionery sugar got uh, soaked up. And I'm going to turn it up a little bit higher. I'm going to put this over so it doesn't splash out, although it probably won't once it's getting thicker. Just like that, so it doesn't splash out on my cabinets or my counter. Yeah. So it, 
It probably takes a minute or so, but no longer than that in the KitchenAid. And once it gets thicker, it's not going to splash anyway. Okay, it's not splashing there. Well, it actually is a little bit. Now know that if you want whipped to butter, just use whipping cream and keep whipping it, and it'll finally, it'll turn yellow and become whipped butter. That's all it took. There it is. Can y'all see it? Yeah, maybe all closer. It's already whipped up into peaks. Now I'm just going to scrape it out into this container. It's a plastic container, and I'm putting it in the uh, freezer that's in uh, over top of my refrigerator because my other freezer gets so cold, even store-bought ice cream, it's hard to get it out because it's so hard. All right, we'll be right right back. Okay, there it is in the container. Y'all see, I'm gonna back up a little bit, y'all. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, make it again right away. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the uh, freezer. And we'll make another batch, because we want more than that. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I went ahead and fixed a, another batch, because I wasn't sure that the whole quart would work in this bowl, and I still don't think it would. But anyway, it's uh, one quart of whipping cream, and then that, if you were making the whole thing at one time, would be one cup of confectionery sugar and two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And you may want to make sure you don't beat it too long because if you do, it'll turn into butter. And I went ahead and, and had this in the freezer. So let me back y'all up now. And I'm going to dump it right in on top of the uh, thing. All right, here we go. I was so excited about this and I didn't find anybody else that had done it this way on the internet. Everybody else used that uh, Eagle brand milk and I did not want that so just dumping it in. Yeah, and I figured out the cost. The uh, whipping cream is $3.28 at Walmart and uh, you know, just be a Maybe, I don't know, 15 cent for the uh, confectionery sugar and I don't know, about the same for the vanilla extract. Yeah, so this is one quart. Of course, it looks like more than one quart because I think this container holds a gallon and it's definitely more than a gallon whipped up. Okay, so there you have it. Whoops. I get to you have that. And I dropped one there. Mm. It is so good. It it tastes lighter than regular ice cream to me. I really love the way it tastes. So there, I guess that is, it makes a core, because this is a gallon container. So I'll put the lid on it and we'll be having this tomorrow, probably with some strawberry shortcake. Only I've got to make the, the uh, plain yellow cake tonight and let that be cool. All right, y'all, we will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.